hello guys welcome back in the previous tutorial we had some problem with the edit text as you can see here that uh, the text is shown on the top right corner so to resolve this problem all we can do is to remove this high uh, weight and also let me give it a little bit text so that we see how we can do that so first of all give it text size of 30 sp scalable pixels and then give it padding of 10 dp so i think the problem is now resolved and now if you run this app now you can see that the it's taking the entire height of the edit text so now we will add the functionality uh, to this calculator and we have to uh, work for all these buttons so let's get started first of all we have button btn back for backspace btn clear for clearing btn1 and let's copy this btn1 control c 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and this is for 0 this is for dot plus minus multiply divide and also divide equal square root okay one two three four five we need five more buttons one two three four five and now let's change the name between one two three four five six seven eight nine btn plus btn subtract btn multiply btn divide btn dot not this dot dot btn equal btn sqrt btn factorial bit uh, btn x power 2 btn x power y and we also have one another button square root factorial i hope so we are done with all the buttons we have btn bank btn clear btn 1 up to 9 and then we have btn plus minus plus minus means subtract multiply we have divide we have dot we have equal we have square root we have factorial we have button x power 2 and button x power y and let's remove the last one and after that we have the edit text ed result so now let's create a method public white typecast so here we will typecast all the methods so we have uh, btn back is equal to button find view by id r dot id dot backspace control c control v control v we have btn clear and the id for this is clear and next we have btn1 and this is 1 so now copy this take 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 change so I am doing this all because I want to save my time uh, because it will take a lot of time in just doing the typecast work or just simple work and next we have btn dot uh, we have btn plus ok 1 this is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
nine. And next we have BTN. I forgot what what was the ID for that one. BTN plus. We get addition. And next we have subtraction. Multiply. Okay. So addition. Control C. BTN plus. BTN subtract. BTN multiply. And BTN divide. Plus addition subtraction. Mul multiply. I don't remember what was here. Multiply, it's multiply, but why? Why it's not taking it? M U L T I P L Y multiply, and next we have to white. So, done with these buttons, and now we have etn dot equal square root factorial x power 2 x power y x power y x power 2 factorial btn sqrt btn equal btn dot so dot equal sqrt factorial x power 2 x power y so let's call this typecast over here in the on create view so typecast and also implement on the on click listener and implement its method on click so all the functionality will be provided uh, in here okay we also forgot to ed to typecast the edit text ed result edit text r dot i dot i think so it was result or what id we have no id for this okay we have id text my text id dot my text So now we are good to go. So now uh, we need to know how our application will perform its functionality. So for example, I want to multiply 5 by 5. So the user will uh, click this 5 button and then he she will click the multiply button and then uh, he she will click the 5 button and then the equal button. And the result will be provided here. So that's how the application will work. So first of all, if v dot get id is equal equal to r dot id dot btn one okay not btn one one because here we are referring the xml ids so what we want to do is the ed result dot set text is equal to what one so you want to set the text of the ed result to one let's run this and see if it works so the app is launched and you can see if I press the one it's not working because we have not made the uh, connection between and first of all let's re uh, remove this color from here the button did not work because we have not added any connection between these two so btn one dot set on click listener and pass it this and we have to do this for all but now we are on loading doing it for btn1 later we will do it for all and see how it works now if i press the btn1 uh, the one is shown here 
but if someone wants to write 11 if I press 1 again it's not writing 11 but what it's uh, it is doing uh, is that it is replacing the entire text of this edit text uh, with 1 so what I have to do is to keep the old one as well and add another one here so how we can do that is we can say ed the result dot set text ed result dot get text plus one so now run this application and now you can see that we can write multiple ones and there might be another problem as well it's increasing in the lines so for that purpose come to the activity and press the uh, click on this one and add max lines to one okay next time when we launch this app we will check it will not take longer than one line now if someone wa wants to write 51 or 15 let's uh, say 15 so btn 5 dot set on click listener and pass it this and now but we have to check else if v dot get id is equal equal to r dot id equal equal to r dot id dot uh, 5 so let's copy this text from here and edit here and send 5 and now run application now you can see that the, that the app is launched and if i want to write uh, 51 i can write and if i want to uh, write 15 so 1 5 i can write 15 so now we have to add this functionality for all these buttons so let's do it first of all 2 3 4 and then 5 is already there 6 7 8 9 and then for plus subtract multiply divide dot equal sprt factorial between x power 2 x power y and i think that's it 2 3 now change the object names 5 6 7 8 9 and btn plus btn subtract btn multiply btn divide btn dot and btn equal btn sqrt factorial x power 2 and x power y so the connection between them are created and now we have to add the functionality so copy this and f1 f2 then add here 2 and if the id is equal to 3 then add 3 if the id is equal to 4 add 4 and 5 is ok so 6 then add 6 7 then add 7 8 9 7 8 8 8 9 then 8 9 over here and also we have to do this for dot as well a dot and also for the zero as well 
add him zero. So now uh, let's run our application. Now you can see that the app is launched and all these buttons are working. But the zero button is I think not working. Okay, one, two, three, six, seven, five. 7, 8, 9. These buttons are all working, but the zero button is not working. And let's check why. Uh, it's because we have not uh, btn zero. We don't have button zero here. I think. Btn zero and btn zero dot set on click listener and this and also type cast this button btn0 is equal to button find you by id or id dot zero so guys i think uh, it's enough for this tutorial in the next tutorial uh, we will work on the backspace and the clear button and all these functionalities addition subtraction multiplication we will add this all all these functionalities so guys stay tuned see you in the next tutorial